गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल टेक आउट योर बुक ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड सेवेक्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द सिक्स मेन फीचर्स ऑफ द चाइनीज सिविलाइजेशन विच आर सोसाइटी रिलीजन मीन्स ऑफ लिविंग ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स चाइनीज इन्वेंशन चाइनीज स्क्रिप्ट Before we proceed further I would like to take feedback of previous topics through some questions Question number 1 name the countries with whom China had trade relations Number 2 write the meaning of barter system Number 3 when was an official currency introduced in China Number 4 when did Chinese invent block printing Number 5 name the earliest famous printed book of the chinese and the last question is write a note on the chinese script students i hope you all are able to answer all these questions in today's class we are going to read the last two main features of the chinese civilization which are art and architecture and science at the end of the today's class you will be able to know about these two features of the chinese civilization have a look on the important terms related to the today's topic number 1 beacon a fire or light set up in a high position as a warning signal number 2 pagoda sacred temples of the chinese number 3 canon a general principle or rule number 4 anesthesia injections of drugs before surgical operations now let's read the seventh main feature of the chinese civilization that is art and architecture the chinese put little emphasis on art and so there are no noteworthy artistic remains the finest example of sculpture is the figure of a female deity called bodhisattva avalokiteshvara which was sculpted in the tang period chinese did not put much efforts on art the finest example of sculpture sculpture means the art of creating objects is the figure of a goddess bodhisattva avalokiteshvara this is the figure of the goddess sculpted in the tang period the chinese showed great interest in painting painting was usually done on woven silk with water colors landscapes portraits and historical figures were the common subjects of paintings landscape means all the visible features of an area of land portrait means a painting or a drawing the chinese were interested in the painting they used to do painting on woven silk with water colors common subjects of paintings were landscapes portraits and historical figures the great wall of china is the most outstanding example of the chinese architecture the great wall of china one of the seven wonders of the world it was listed as a world heritage by unesco in 1987 around 221 bc Quan Shi Huang ordered the construction of the Great Wall of China. It is more than 2400 kilometers long. The main purpose of building the wall was to protect the northern boundaries of China from repeated Mongolian invasions. The wall runs through plains, deserts and mountains. Nearly 10000 watchtowers were spread across the entire length of the wall. Watchmen lived in these towers so that they could summon troops whenever required by lighting beacon lamps. So children, who gave the orders of the construction of the Great Wall of China? Quan Shi Huang. When? Around 221 BC. What was the main purpose of building the wall? Purpose was to protect the northern boundaries of China from Mongolian invasions. Invasions means attack. What were the physical features of the wall? It runs through plains, deserts and mountains. Watchtower means a tower built to create an observation point. There were nearly 10000 watchtowers and watchmen lived in these towers. Watchmen asked for the help from the troops. 
ट्रूप्स मीन्स आर्मी वे नेवर दे रिक्वायर्ड बाय लाइटिंग बीकन लैम्प्स दे यूज बीकन लैम्प्स एज अ वार्निंग सिग्नल द चाइनीज वर ऑल्सो फेमस फॉर देयर पगोडास दीज वर टेम्पल्स विद पेक्यूलियर शेप्ड रूप्स वे आर द फॉलोअर्स ऑफ बुद्धिज्म ट्रेड सो चिल्ड्रेन चाइनीज टेम्पल्स आर नॉन एज पगोडास यू कैन सी अ पिक्चर ऑफ पगोडा ऑन योर बुक नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स रीड डू यू नो बॉक्स थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ ग्रेट वॉल हैज डिसअपेयर्ड थेफ्ट ऑफ ब्रिक्स टू बिल्ड हाउसेज एंड एक्सपोजर टू रेन एंड स्टोम हैज डैमेज द हेरिटेज साइट सो हाउ द ग्रेट वॉल हैज डिसअपेयर्ड ब्रिक्स ऑफ द वॉल हैव स्टॉलन बाय द पीपल टू बिल्ड हाउसेज एंड रेन एंड स्टोम हैज ऑल्सो डिस्ट्रॉय द हेरिटेज साइट नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द लास्ट मेन फीचर ऑफ द चाइनीज सिविलाइजेशन दैट इज साइंस the chinese could predict eclipses and appearance of comets they used both solar and lunar calendars they counted the months of a year by the movement of the moon each month had either 29 or 30 days the year was of 365 and 1/4 days the difference between the solar and lunar calculations was corrected after every 19 years see the meaning of predict estimate that will happen in the future what do you mean by eclipse an eclipse happens when one object in space blocks another from view next is solar calendar the solar calendar is a measurement of the earth's rotation around the sun next is lunar calendar a lunar calendar is based on the monthly cycles of the moon's phases This is a view of solar eclipse when the moon comes between the earth and the sun. The Chinese counted the months of a year by the movement of the moon. Each month had 29 or 30 days and in a year there were 365 and 1/4 days. The difference between the solar and lunar calculations was corrected after every 19 years. Let's read further. In mathematics the Chinese knew the theory of geometry they developed a system of numeration in the 8th century AD so students geometry is the branch of mathematics that deals with shapes and sizes of figures and numeration means the method of expressing a number in words the chinese priest practiced and studied astrology in the 1st century AD a map of stars was made which showed the location of 320 big stars they considered water fire wood gold and earth to be the five basic elements of life to which our body returned after death astrology is the study of stars moon sun planets etc The Chinese considered that our body is made from the five basic elements which are water, fire, wood, gold and earth and we have to return it after death. The Chinese compiled a canon of medicine that described the functions of various organs, several diseases and their treatment. The Chinese made a canon. Canon means a principle or rule of medicine that described the functions of the various internal body parts several diseases and their treatment the chinese associated the diseases with seasons like headaches in spring skin diseases in summer fever in autumn and lung disorder in winter chang chung ching was called the sage of medicine He worked on the treatment of typhoid fever. Hua Tuo, a famous Chinese surgeon, used anesthesia and performed several delicate operations. So students, Chinese linked the diseases with seasons. Who was called the sage of medicine? Chang Chung Ching was called the sage of medicine. He worked on the treatment of typhoid fever. The famous Chinese surgeon was Hua Tuo who used anesthesia anesthesia means injection of drugs before surgical operations let's read the do you know box 
the chinese had their own names for the various organs of the body heart was called the prince liver was the general gall bladder was the central office lungs were the ministers and the kidneys were called the skilled workers so children these are the names used by the chinese for their various organs of the body the last point is acupuncture devised in 2500 bc acupuncture is an ancient chinese medical technique for giving relief in pain curing various diseases and improving one's general health in this technique thin solid needles are inserted into acupuncture points in the skin there are about 670 acupuncture points in our body each related to one or the other disease the acupuncturist decide which point to be treated by observing and questioning the patient and making a diagnosis of the disease Acupuncture has been a subject of active scientific research since the late 20th century. Its use for certain conditions has been approved by the United States National Institute of Health, the National Health Service of the United Kingdom and the World Health Organization. It is a safe technique with a very low risk of serious adverse effects. when administered by well trained practitioners using sterile needles so acupuncture is a system of medicine in which needles are inserted in the skin at particular points for giving relief in pain there are about 670 acupuncture points in our body its use for certain conditions has been approved by the united states national institute of health the national health service of the united kingdom and the world health organization so children our lesson is completed now students your homework is you have to solve the following exercises which are given at the end of the lesson exercise number 1 multiple choice questions exercise number 2 true or false exercise number 3 fill in the blanks exercise number 4 match column a with column b exercise number 7 c and answer number 1 identify the picture number 2 by whom was it built number 3 what was the motive behind building it so students you have to solve these exercises on your book thank you have a nice day